Hello and welcome. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining me. Looking at this question today, it's from Edexcel IGCSE Computer Science. We've got a trace, we've got an algorithm here, and what I'm asked to do in this question is to provide the output from that. What's the output when I'm given some inputs? So in effect, it's going to be a trace table. Now, up here is a comment. So we'll look down there. I've got these things here set in them to zero. Now these are variables. So in them is a variable, result is a variable, and i is a variable there. Set i to zero. So I've set these up at the top there. In this specification, to create a variable, to assign it a value, I write we write set. So set in them, variable in them to be zero. So I've assigned it the values here. Now, down here, row 6 and row 7, I've got an output, send enter a number to display, and then receive in them integer from keyboard. So that is an input. I'm going to receive an input from the user, and I'm going to do something with that. So that input is called in num. At the top, it's been set to 0, so reset. But here, I'm going to receive a value. Okay, and depending on that, I've got this if here, else, and then nested if. I'm going to do something with that. So, we'll have a look at what that what that's going to look like. So just move the camera down to look at the table. So, for three marks, use the information in figure two to answer these questions. Complete the table to show the output for the given input. So, here's my inputs, and there's my output. I need to do that. Okay, so we're starting with an input of zero. So receive in them from integer keyboard, that's going to be zero. Zero is going to be the input there. So down here, if in them, that's zero to start with, is less than zero then, I can ignore that because zero isn't less than zero. Else, if in them equals zero, then send answer what is one to display. So here, because in them is zero, I can write down there, I'm just going to put in question quotation marks there, answer is one. That's going to be my output. Right, my next number is negative 12. So let's work that through. If in them is less than zero, yes it is, send invalid input to display. So negative 12 my output is going to be invalid input. Now, the next one is 5. So, 5 comes into my algorithm. So, receive 5. If in num is less than 0, no. Else, if in num equals 0, no. Else, nested if here, for i from 1 to in num do. So, now, i from 1 to 5, which is in them, do. I'm going to loop 5 times. Set result to result times i. So what I'm going to do is just make myself a table there. So what is going to be i each time? What is going to be result times i? And then what is the going, what's going to be a result from that? It's almost like doing a mini trace table here. Now, I wouldn't recommend you do this in your exam. If you want to do this, I wouldn't write on the paper. I would use scrap paper. So we start off with i from 1. So i equals 1 at the start. Set result to result times i. So result at the moment is 1, because we set it to 1 at the start. 1 times 1 equals 1, okay, because i is 1, result is 1, 1 times 1 equals 1, so my result is 1. Now, next line, I'm running it again, 1 to in them, so 1 to 5, I'm running it again with i equals 2, so i now equals 2, so result to result times i, so Result is 1. 1 times 2 equals 
2. Now, so it's i equals 1 to 5, so i now equals 3. So, now, result is 2, so it's 2 times by 3, and my output is 6. Now, i equals 4, because we haven't finished the loop. So now, result equals result times i. So at the moment, result is 6, and i is 4. So it's 6 times 4, which is 24. Now, i equals 5. Next line, my final line. Result now is 24. So now it's 24 times 5, which is, you have to do this without a calculator, 120. So you're not allowed a calculator in the exam. You need to do this in your head. Right, so what is my output now? It's that. So, done that. 1 to 5, send. The answer is... So I write that down properly. The answer is and result 120 to display. So the next part of the question for one more mark. So I've got three now. One more mark. And what is the purpose of this algorithm? So you may have realised now from maths that this is actually a factorial. And the fact it's a factorial of five. So what is the purpose of this algorithm? Is to multiply every number between one and in them. Which is the input? I'm just going to put brackets input there. So, what is it doing? Calculating factorial factorial of in them. So, it's a factorial program. It's cal the algorithm is calculating factorial of a number that has been input by the user. In our case, the input was 5. But because the first two inputs were 0 and negative 12, we can't have factorials of 0 or factorials of negative 12. So that calculation didn't, didn't happen. But when I had 5 as my input, my output was 120, and the calculation can be seen up here of how that was done. Now, just to remind you, I wouldn't recommend you write that on your exam paper, I'd use a rough paper for that and work it out on rough paper before you come to write your answer there. And also, just another little tip there if I just move that back up like that, it does specifically say for the output the answer is, so you don't just write down 120, you need to write the answer is 120 because you don't want to lose that mark if you spent all that time doing these calculations there to lose it by not by not doing the correct output there. So the correct output is, the answer is 120. So that is, in effect, tracing through an algorithm and provided with an input, giving an output to the algorithm.